So I forget, and I was looking for a list. Uh, this is our pick ticket. Okay. And I would like to change, and I don't can't tell you exactly what it is today, but to relearn how to change the way things like this delphinium. Say I no longer wanted it under California miscellaneous, how to get it into the next category. Um, say I wanted to throw it under roses. Okay. How do I change um, the way it would list on a pick ticket from one category to the next? Great question. And I've done it before, John, but it's been so long. Well, what I'd like to do is I'd like to start, uh, there's a two-step process. Yep. So if it's all right with you, I'll go ahead and just uh, start with step one. Perfect. Okay. So if we're looking under the inventory tab here, mm -hmm. we have this thing called product type. Yep. Okay. Now product type is your your major breakdown. That, those are those are not necessarily subcategories. They're the way you would organize different product types. And one of the things it does, it actually puts it the, the sequence you want on your pick ticket. Right. Okay. Okay. So number one is to me, there's a lot of stuff in here. Like you've got two of these. Um, you can actually delete them out of here by using the delete key. But what happens is, is if they're being used by inventory items, then they won't delete because it can't delete it if it's being used. Correct. Yeah, I deleted something the other day. She had two codes for it. I don't remember what it was, but I checked to see if there was inventory under one and there wasn't, so I inactivated it. Good. So you, you're pretty much familiar with that. Yes, yes. We can also utilize this here in terms of setting up a print sequence. So you can organize how you want these to, 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 to print out first, second, third, and fourth. Otherwise, they're just going to do alphabetically. Very nice. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good. And you know something? I should probably not have gotten rid of that. One, two, three, four? Yeah. Okay, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know? Uh, the thing is, the more product types you have, the more sequences you need, right? Yeah, you know, and, and most of those product types are supplies. Yeah, yeah. You know, 85% of the business is cut flowers, and we probably have five, six product types. Well, that's, that's very interesting <laughs> because because the whole the whole concept um, of this product of this you know this particular table this product type table is to be able to give you margins. This is this is your pricing level. So like at price level one, you want cost, which is one times 80%. That's what you right. want the computer to calculate your um, your sales price at. So the system- Which we our, never flip the switch on. We're still doing that manually. Right, you're still doing it manually, which is okay. There's, you know, some people do, some people don't. Um, and- oh, I really would have flipped the switch. Okay, well, we, we need to go ahead and organize that. So I'm going to put that on my list of follow up with you in terms of yep. um, Me too. Uh, computer generated pricing. Computer generated pricing. And then we have to set up margins for each product type. Right. So right now there's nowhere to print a list of product types, is there? Yeah, there is. So we should have a list in our our user defined queries. If not, we have it. We can put it in there. I can have Joanne do it. But let's look over here, and we have the user defined queries right here. Mm -hmm. And then we should have product types in here. Price level one customers, product type with product numbers, and we just go ahead and run that. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay, and then you can, this is this this creates an Excel spreadsheet if you want, or you can just print it. Oh yeah, yeah, good, good. Okay, and uh, if you want to sort it, you can sort it alphabetically. Okay, perfect. Just by clicking this. Do you want me to print it or anything, or you just want to deal with it later? Yeah, and no, I'll export it to Excel, and I'll I'll take care of it. Okay, very good, very good. Awesome. All right. All right. So, so that so makes it nice and easy to work with, and gives you some control of, of things. There's also, um, where was that at again, John? That was under, um, management. Yeah. That, so. that was, yeah, that was under user management. Yeah. Under user defined queries, which is right Got here, it. user defined Perfect. queries. And then that brings up a screen and then you could go ahead and just do the drop down and find. Now we have about 55 queries. You don't have them all here because you know, it, it's just the fact that, um, they've never come up, but uh, if you ever mm -hmm. need a query for something, or you're looking for some information, Send, send me or Joanne an email to support and we'll just, you know, pop it on there for you. 
Yeah, chances are you have it. <laughs> oh, yeah, most like I mean, I can send you the whole list of them if you'd like to have the whole list. I mean, it's in a Word document with an index, but, you know, sometimes, I, you know, you've got enough on your plate. I hate to burden you with that. Right. Except, okay. in your, except in your spare time, like long, wintry weekends where it's snowing all the time. Yes, thank you for the reading, too. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got my reading material. I did, when I was in the office Saturday and I sent you that, I said, geez, I wonder if, this, if Patty really wants this this weekend. But I said, what the heck, you had mentioned about the fact you wanted something to look at. So Absolutely. No, this is great. I have the 34 pages of the one uh, thing printed. I actually shared it with Christine today, too. Because Good. Might be some things of interest in here for her as well. So very good. So okay, I wanted I wanted to show you this tool because this is going to make life easier for you as well. It's under management, mm -hmm. and for example, what you have here, you can go ahead and say select product type and assign the selected inventory item. So I can go ahead and say, okay, what's under balloon access, right? And um, we can go ahead and assign you know different types to that that particular thing. Is it uh, supply? Is it whatever? So. It, 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 let me just, let me just back up and show you how this <laughs> works. something I know better. Okay, so for example, things that are in supplies, right? Oh, go, don't do supplies. I'm, I'm a more, I'm a flower girl. You're, oh, hey. I'm an everything girl, but flowers are easier for me to Okay. Do. So let's say, let's say we've got, um, Alstermerias, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you can select those. That shows all the Alstermerias you have. Okay. Okay? So... By selecting your category and your subcategory and co product code or description if you want, we can okay. go ahead and reassign whole groups of things by saying, okay, let's say we've reassigned that to fresh flowers. Mm -hmm. Now, this is important because it prints out on your pick ticket, right? Correct. All right. So I'm not going to do anything here, but you have the idea, right? In other words, you know, we've got the, the cat subcategory is yep. is a clear definition of things but the product type you may want to go ahead and move to fresh flowers because you want certain margins on your d different flowers as well exactly okay good okay so that's another tool for you to work with and that's that's good when it's a big long group you don't have to do each item you can just exactly. go to the category and exactly. do it all at you just click, click yeah. apply now in the meantime if there's one or two items i just didn't want to i want to make sure that i cover that with you as well Go mm -hmm. to the inventory, and we'll do the same thing here, but I'm going to go ahead and be a little bit more uh, specific. So, and yeah. we'll say it's Alstermeria again. This list is quite a long list, so you may want to go ahead and kind of trim it down as things get. Mm -hmm. So those are, those are your Alstros. And then if you wanted to go ahead and just double click on it, you can manually change each individual line item in terms of product type right here. Got it. Okay. okay. And Got this it. is where it gets the information for the pick ticket. Yeah, so we have way too many product types. You've got a lot of them, but but I would like to recommend that we have a little planning session, a brainstorming session, to see how this can best be used for you when you move into let the computer calculate your sales prices. Got it. Because the calculation of the sales prices by the computer, like with everything else in life, has its positives and its negatives. The mm -hmm. positive is when your prices go up, your sales prices go up. Piece of cake. Yep. The other thing is, is when you're going ahead and, and buying flowers, you're getting them very inexpensively. You've got to know how to deal with that because your 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 price your costs are down, right? But you want exactly. to keep your sales prices up. Exactly. Okay, so there, you have to understand how the whole flow works. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I hope that helps answer that question for you. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, you know, it was, it's been yeah. so long that I forgot how to do it. No problem. No problem. I mean, that may, may that may be all the training you want for today, but I just want I just want to let you know that um, these this, these little training things are so helpful when you're trying to move forward, and it eliminates a stop for you. Exactly, exactly. So this is good. I can clean up the flower items. I want to move into different categories. I um I figured out today how to click one button and arrange the pick tickets alphabetically to help the checkers check it better. Cool. So, cool. One very, there, John. very cool. <laughs> Mr. Wright will be happy when he's here helping me for Valentine's Day. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. And and how's Mr. Wright doing? Very well. Is he? Very well. Yep. Still good. Great. And is he happy with the that you're doing well with the system and that? Um he doesn't really like it. 
<laughs> okay, well, that's nice to know. But, but you know, it's fair. It's, he's not used to it, so he's only been here at the holidays, and it was a little confusing for him because, you know, he's used to it being done for so many years one certain way, so. Right. So, uh, he will grow to love it eventually. Well. Uh, I, I am, I'm sure. I'm, I'm assuming that you're feeling very, still very good about the system and, and confident Absolutely. with it. Good. Yes, we just it's Good. we're gonna stand still and we really need to move forward on yeah. it now. So well, I, I really do want to follow up with you as soon as the holidays are with to, to get a website up for you. I, I, yeah, I think definitely. I think you will find as because your whole concept is expansion and income and that's your statistic that as the 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 leader of the group that you're working with. And any way that you can go ahead and put your wares out on the internet. For your customers to buy so they don't even have to call in is a great help absolutely and um, absolutely I mean I d I'm not saying that you'll actually reduce staff but it may save you from hiring staff we free you know I'll be happy walking in in the morning and orders came to us instead of the competitor who they had to know something 10 o'clock last night that's exactly they the way it works. Our, on our to our site and they ordered it yep that's the way it works yep exactly so it is like adding a salesperson in a way. It is. Yep. Yeah. 360, 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. We're, we're there to we're, serve. We're so long over, overdue on it. It's ridiculous. Well, you and I will get together. I've got it on my reminder list to call you, you know, a couple days after Valentine's Day. And we'll just go ahead and get started in the process. And uh, Good. Joanne is uh, one of the reasons why I wanted her to join us is because uh, I wanted her to become as much familiar with what you're doing as possible because since she does... A lot of the graphics design work she'll be working directly with you on that yeah that's great okay look and forward to it joanne ditto for sure patty okay what else is on your mind for today patty um that was my mission for today john well i'll tell you what that's one hell of a mission <laughs> so we're gonna get this cleaned up now <laughs> very good I'm, I'm gonna make some notes from our meeting today and send them over to you is that all right yeah, absolutely. Okay, that way if you have any other questions, you can go ahead and, and just take a look at it. Excuse me. Okay. All righty. Very good. You have a wonderful day. And uh, also, also give me some heads up when you're ready to do the inventory because I can help you get started with that and we can go through some mechanical things with that as well before you get you actually get every, the whole group involved. Sounds good. Uh, you know, I, do you have a second for one more question? Sure. It's something we never touched on, and it probably can't be done how I want to do it, because <laughs> it would be the easy way to cheat for something I want to do. Internal inventory transfer. It's a subject that we never, ever touched. Okay. Hold on one second. Can you tell her call right back? <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Of course, somebody I've been trying to call for two hours finally calls back. Of course. And you can take yeah. that call. You can, you know, you no, and I are... No, that's okay. Nope. We're talking about this item here? Yes. Okay. Now, I'll give you the scenario. I have a uh, customer. I, I took flowers out of the fresh cut flower inventory and turned those bunches into bouquets for her. Yep. I have all the cut flowers on a pick ticket. There's no way to transfer that into a coat, into a bouquet. I, I did it the wrong way. I probably should have. Well, can I offer, a can, I, can I offer you another suggestion? And it, do you do this standardly, or is it just it's a one-time? It's becoming time? more and more with this one particular customer. Okay, so let me just kind of see if I can help you this way, because this is a really slick little process to use. And uh, I was going to say if there was bouquets here. I'm not sure if you have bouquets as a separate item. Uh, go under Peppy. Peppy, okay. Yeah. Okay, hold on just for a minute. Let me grab something. So I'm looking for it. Here's a, here's your here's a bouquet right here. I, I can use this as an example. All right. Now there's okay. an option here that's missing. So let me go over okay. to system control and turn it on for you. Right, let's see here. That's over on.
I think that's it there. Let me, let me, I should should probably go back to the documentation. I'm going to restart this because we may have to uh, restart the smart system for it. Oh, there it is. Okay, box. There it is. Okay. So, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to use this item because this is something specific, but you can build using this thing, a tab, this button here, checkbox here. Mm -hmm. It will pop a new tab, associated products. And this would this inventory item would be your special bouquet for Peppy, let's say. Call it whatever you want. And then you can put in here the products that make up that bouquet, and it will, whenever you sell one of these, it will automatically pull out of inventory. Gotcha. Okay. Because right now I have it sitting out there in a pick ticket. Okay. So there's, I'm sure it's too late to transfer it from the pick ticket into this. I probably have to... Well, but you've already got... I can cancel the pick ticket and manually go back in and do it this way, I guess. You could, but I, I, I don't know if you want to go through that or not. The first, When you set it up, you know, if you want to go ahead and set it up, we can set it up now because I don't know the, the details of it. But if it happens often, you can go in here beforehand and make some changes to it. And, you know, this week it's going to be this kind of bouquet or next week. Or you can just copy it over using the copy to new item. Mm -hmm. So okay. what this does is whenever you sell one of these, it will automatically adjust the inventory when you sell it exactly no that that's i should have used that tool last week instead of putting on a pick ticket <laughs> well it's it just one more thing that, i created you know, double work <laughs> and and the, the inventory transfer is something something so i have no problems working with you on in terms of more information but i would think that what you want to do is is basically the other exactly okay. yes so what this does is you you and i think you've actually done this before in terms of you know I can go ahead and mock it up here. I don't know what Alstro is. Let's say it's the Alstro Fancy, and then we take two of these guys here and press enter. And then, uh, you know, let's say we go ahead and do a couple of these guys here. I'm not yeah. sure if these are the right ones or not, but the, the okay. I, but you see when I pull from the from, you see it builds a selected transfer? Yeah. Okay. Now. What then I can do is say, okay, am I going? What am I going to transfer this to? So if I go ahead and look at your Peppy thing here as an example, and uh, we can find the Peppies, and we're going to say we're going to create, we're going to select this one here, the memory bouquets, yep. right? Now, if I do a consolidate, what it's going to do, it's going to go ahead and let me. I can transfer the individual items, or I can do a consolidate, which um, yeah, I don't want to do that. But it, what it does, it brings up another screen so that you can actually okay. define the cost and also define the quantities that are going to be created from this mixed bouquet. Gotcha. So it just handles things a little bit differently, but it is a, it is a usable process also. Yeah, I see that. Well, this is good. We, I don't think we ever touched on this one beyond, I mean, I know you went over everything, but we never went. Yeah, but it, was, it was one, one of those things that we'll get to it later. Yeah, exactly. Well, later is approaching. <laughs> <laughs> later has come and gone, actually. <laughs> Very good. All right, good. Well, I might experiment with that one. Well, please be my guest. Yeah, I have about 700 bouquets I will be making for this person over Valentine's Day on very specific flowers. Good, good. So from, you know, from the purchase orders, we could either allocate it to this. Well, we could allocate well, it to the person and then, well... I guess we would just just do a transfer probably be the best way then well either that or you can go actually create the in the bouquet like we did first at the beginning as a, right. as your bouquet uh what yeah, the what the transfer okay. what the transfer does it averages the cost so it averages all the costs out for the new item mm -hmm. so that it does some work for you automatically i just don't know what to recommend